Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today I'm doing another episode of Indie Brand Showcase. If you aren't familiar with this series, basically I review almost everything from an indie brand, and I give you guys the prices, swatches, and my reviews on each of the products and what I recommend. Y'all really enjoyed the first episode of this series, so naturally, the second episode, I had to do it on one of my favorite brands ever, and that's Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal Cosmetics, if you don't know, are a German-based indie brand located in Berlin, and they are most known for their single shadows and their palette builder. Now I will say the only products that I have not tried from Lethal are their bronzers, highlighters, and liquid shadows. I have tried every other product that Lethal offers, so let's get into it. There will be timestamps in the description down below and in a pinned comment if you just want to skip around. And also another thing, this video is not sponsored. I've purchased all the makeup here by myself and they're not paying me to make this video. I just wanted to do this video because I think it's quite useful to see everything a brand offers and what someone thinks of it. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. The first product we're going to be reviewing are the blushes that Lethal offer. Now Lethal have 10 blushes in their lineup and the shade range is absolutely beautiful from a bright lavender to bright yellows to really deep berries and wine colours. They have one of the best shade ranges of blushes I've ever found. I'll put a picture of all the shades right here. These retail for £13 each and when you buy them in a trio you do get a discount. When you purchase just the blushes, they come in individual pads. You do have to buy this little magnetic trio separately. I have to say that Lethal's packaging is one of my favorites. As you can see, it is holographic. There's a lot of fingerprints on there. I do apologize. The lid folds all the way back really nicely, which I do appreciate, and it has a nice mirror on the inside right here. The three blushes that I own are Neophyte, a bright yellow, Tendril, a bright orange, and Nectar, a peachy pink. All the blushes that Lethal offer are a matte formula, and these are my favourite blushes in my collection. I just gotta say that straight off the bat. Specifically the shade Nectar right here, as you saw in the close-up, it is quite heavily damaged. Now I will say, the reason why my blush looks like this is because I am very aggressive when I apply my makeup. I'm very heavy-handed. And when I initially yeeted my brush into this pan, it kind of fucked with the pan a bit because these are extremely powdery. They're not powdery in a bad way, but there is a lot of kick-up in the pan and they do pick up on a brush very easily. So you need to go in with a light hand if you don't want to fuck up the powder like this. But these blushes are very pigmented. A little goes a very long way. Now, if you know anything about me, I absolutely love an excessive blush. It's just my favorite thing. Today, I'm actually wearing a normal person amount of blush funnily enough, because I wanted to demonstrate that you can make these blushes quite like natural in a way. I am wearing the shade Nectar today. But these are very creamy, very pigmented, and they last very, very well. I have oily skin and I don't notice that these fade on me at all. And even though these are quite soft in the pan, I have dropped this multiple times because again, I am a monster and none of the shades have broken. So these do last very well. The magnet on the back is really strong. And also in case you're curious, on the back of this, there are three little holes that you can poke out the blush with so if you want to swap them out for something else you can do that. In my opinion the price is right for these blushes. I love that you can make a customizable trio and you can do like all blushes, all bronzers, highlights or a mix of all of them. I really love that Lethal really wants you to customize your collection. The only negative critique I can give of these blushes is the fact that they come in a single pan. For me personally I really want to buy a couple more of their shades but I don't want to build like a whole trio and I would prefer if they have an option that you can buy them in a compact so if you just wanted one you could have it in a normal compact to store with the rest of your blushes otherwise you would need a magnetic palette but other than that these blushes are a 10 out of 10 for me i absolutely adore them if i had to recommend one shade for you to get i would recommend nectar any day it is the number one blush in my collection i am very surprised that i haven't hit pan in it with the amount that i use it if you want to try one thing from lethal i think the blushes are the way to go now we're moving on to eye products the first one we're going to be talking about are their gel liners i currently own one of their liners but i have the shade analog which is a beautiful light blue. This packaging is glass with a plastic lid. The logo is on the top right there and the shade name on the bottom. And when you screw off the lid, there is this little plastic cap that seals in the product. I always recommend with gel liners to keep the plastic insert on the top if it has one, just because it keeps the product fresher for longer. These liners retail for £14.50, which is a little bit pricier for a liner in my opinion. How motherfucking ever. You know it's good when I whip out the motherfucker. These liners are the best gel liners I've ever tried. No pencil liner compares to this. When you first get these, these are very, very creamy. You can use them easily as an eyeshadow base, as a winged liner, graphic liner, and in the waterline. Now, I have owned this product for a, almost a year now, and I have noticed that it has dried out a little bit, but not to the point where it's unusable. If you wanted to, you could do a couple of drops of Duraline in this. 
I don't own Duraline, so I'm not too sure how that works. If you do own this product and you have Duraline and you've tried that technique, let us know in the comments down below. The reason why this gel liner formula is my number one is the fact that this does not move in the waterline at all. All. Now here's the thing, I'm a crier, I'm not ashamed about it, I'm a sensitive boy, and any time that I cry and I'm wearing this, it does not move. It just looks the exact same as when I applied it. And if you don't have watery eyes or a crier like myself, this will last on your waterline for butt fuck ever. Until you take it off, it will not move. Even though these are a little bit pricier and they are a gel liner so you do have to use a liner brush with them, I highly, highly, highly recommend these. If you want a long wearing eyeliner, this is for you. And also, I have used this as a winged liner and I have very oily eyelids, so I need something that is completely budge proof and this, budge proof. I cannot sing this liner's praises enough. If I had to rate this out of 10, I would have to give it about a 9 out of 10, I'd say. The reason why it's a 9 out of 10 and not a 10 out of 10 is mainly because the price, £14.50, that's quite expensive for a liner in my personal opinion because this will eventually like dry out. They recently launched some new ones with their new spring collection and I am definitely buying some more. Now we're moving on to what Lethal is most known for, and that's their single shadows. These are all the single shadows that I own from them. I own the After Dark palette, which came as a pre-made palette, and these are just some random singles as well. But let's talk about the After Dark palette first. The After Dark palette is a 12 pan palette, and this has seven mattes and five shimmers. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Lethal are very fantastic in the sense that if you wanted to buy this palette, for an example, but let's say you didn't want to buy the white shade in here, and you didn't like the look of, I don't know, the silver, you can swap them out with any other lethal shadow of your choice. For me, I liked the entire colour story of After Dark, so I just bought the standalone palette. I didn't make any adjustments to it. Lethal's matte formula is one of my favourite, if not my favourite matte formula in my collection, not just within single shadows, but in my entire collection. Palettes, all of the stuff. Lethal's matte formula is my favourite. They are powdery, but not too powdery. You do get a bit of fallout on your face if you use too much of these on your eyes. I personally don't mind that since I normally do my eyes first and I just whisk the fallout away. And it is the type of fallout that you can just whisk away, you don't need to wipe it off. Their shadows are very pigmented, but not too pigmented to the point where you just can't blend it out. You can control the pigment of these pretty damn well, so if you don't pick up as much on your brush, it will still be pigmented, but just not as intense. These shadows are so damn blendable, and when you blend them out, they don't lose their colour. I do find with blues and purples specifically in other matte formulas, that if you keep blending them and blending them, sometimes they lose a bit of their colour and they can turn a bit grey, but these ones don't. They are very long lasting, I like to use the Milani eyeshadow primer, that is my holy grail primer for my oily eyelids, and they work beautifully with these shadows. There isn't a single negative I can say about their matte formula. Their deeper mattes are very beautiful, I will say that this shade right here, I believe it's called Nightfall or Nightcall, one of the two. This one, since it is more of a cooler toned purple, it does take a little bit more work than other lethal shadows, because I find with lethal's matte formula, it's pretty much effortless. You don't need to have much skill to blend them at all. If you are newer to eyeshadow, or if you just like an eyeshadow that's easy to work with, I highly recommend Lethal's matte formula. Even their white shade right here, this is Frequency, one of the best matte whites I've ever tried. My two favourite matte whites in my collection are Sugar Pills Taco and Lethal's Frequency. I just realised that I forgot to mention the price. The After Dark palette retails for £44.50 and that includes the Magnetic palette. So this palette altogether is a more expensive palette but with how much I use it and the fact that you can swap out these shades for any other Lethal shadows, I am in love with it. Now let's talk about Lethal's metallic formula. I have a lot of feelings about their metallic formula. I find that the metallics in the After Dark palette and their more recent palettes, such as Velvet Dusk, the Jolina palette, and their Six Pan palettes, those palettes and the singles that come with them, those have the best metallic formula from Lethal. The ones in the After Dark specifically, these are more crumbly, they're not as creamy and dimethicone to the touch, which I don't really mind, but I find that you do need to use a glitter primer with these. So you do need a tacky base in order to use these metallics, but they are very high shine once you do so. I personally most recommend using these with a finger or a wet brush. They do pick up decently well on a dry brush, but I find that they're still a bit too crumbly for that, so you do need something wet or tacky. But for an example, Synth in here is so high shine and beautiful, and it is a duochrome, same with Arcade and Mainframe. I am very happy that Lethal have changed their metallic formula to this formula because it is more high shine. Their previous metallic formulas I will discuss in a moment because 
they are not my favourite in the slightest. Now the rest of the singles that I have from Lethal, all of these are matte except for one. Now I've already talked in detail how much I love the Lethal matte formula. How many- how many times have I said that? Lethal matte formula, lethal matte formula. It's like a tongue twister now. Now Lethal Single Shadows, the prices, they go for £5.50 to £6.50 depending on the formula you buy. I will say that if you are planning to buy a bunch of Lethal Shadows, go on their palette designer and curate your own palette because you do get a discount when you do that and you do get a magnetic palette along with your shadows. But anyways, I'm getting a bit scatterbrained. Let's talk about their metallic formula now. Now like I mentioned, the metallics in the After Dark palette onwards, those are the good metallics from Lethal. I own one of their original metallics, this is Vertex, and as we can see, I do have pan in it. This is a beautiful lime green metallic, however I do find that Lethal's original metallic formulas, these are more satin on your lids, and if you know anything about me, you know that I really don't like satin eyeshadows. There is a slight sheeniness to them, but not to the point of the After Dark palette and other sparkly metallics that we know and love, like Cleona, Divina, Kaleidos, all of those. This is just more dull and satin in comparison. Now that being said, I do have Pan and Vertex. It is a fantastic colour. Despite it being more satiny, this is one of the more satin shades that I actually can get down with. And I do like to layer stuff on top of this to make it more sparkly. But in my opinion, if you do like more like soft satin metallic shades, like softer ones, then you might enjoy Lethal's um, original metallic formula. For my personal preference, I did buy a few of them in the beginning, but this is the only one that I have kept. I'm now going to rate Lethal's eyeshadow formula and we're going to split this up in matte, shiny metallic and original metallic formula. Now their matte formula, straight up, 10 out of 10. It is the best matte formula I have found. Now Lethal's shiny metallic formula, like the ones in the After Dark onwards, I like them quite a lot. They're not my favourite in my collection. I think I would have to give them... Hmm. I'd have to give them a 7 out of 10. Like they're nice, they're better than average. But like, I just prefer other things. And the final formula are the original metallics. It's a 3 out of 10. They last pretty well on my eyes. They don't really crease. It's just they're not my perfect formula. They're not something I enjoy. It's just a personal preference thing. Alrighty, we're in the home stretch. Now let's talk about Lethal's lip formulas. They have liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, and lip glosses. Let's talk about the liquid lipsticks first since I am wearing this one today. And this right here is the packaging on them. You have the lovely Lethal logo right here, the shade name on the bottom, and it's in a nice rounded packaging with a black lid. Now I have the shade Abyss, which is their pure black, and this is what the applicator on their liquid lipsticks look like. It's a very small doe foot. Now I will say, I do not like how small this doe foot is. I wish it was bigger, kind of like the Fenty Beauty ones. And I find that I make more mistakes when the doe foot is smaller. But that is just a personal thing, I know some people like a smaller one. Now these liquid lipsticks do have a scent. It's kind of like a vanilla play-doh. Yeah, vanilla play-doh. And I know some people say if your liquid lipstick smells like play-doh then it has gone off, but all of Lethal's lipsticks start out smelling like this, it's just the nature of the formula. I will say the smell is not very nice when you're applying it, but once it dries down you can't taste it or smell it. Now the consistency of this formula is between a mousse and a liquid. It's not quite moussey and thick, but it's not very liquidy either, it's right in the middle. And this dries down completely matte on your lips, kind of like a powdery matte in a way. Now this is the liquid lipstick formula that I get down with. I do not like applying a liquid lipstick just for it to fucking transfer when it dries down, because when I wear a liquid lipstick, I want it to stay there and not move especially when it comes to a black. And this formula is bulletproof. It won't come off with eating or drinking. If you do eat oilier foods, it will eventually come off. I might not be a good test to how drying a liquid lipstick is because for me, I don't have dry lips. No liquid lipstick is drying on me. But I absolutely love their liquid lipstick formula and this black especially, black liquid lipsticks are quite hard to formulate, but this one, chef's kiss. It's beautiful. My favourite black liquid lipstick that I've ever tried. And I'm the type of person that pans black liquid lipsticks. I have panned three in the past. That sounds vaguely threatening, <laughs> but I know that if I run out of this I will definitely repurchase it. Now let's talk about Lethal's bullet lipstick formula. These retail for £14.50. I personally really love the packaging with their bullet lipsticks. They're very sleek. I love the matte black with the logo in this kind of like glossy finish. And this does have a magnetic closure, which is so fun 
to play with. The sticker on the bottom corresponds with the shade that you get as well, which I love. I really detest when bullet lipsticks have the shade name, but the color isn't the same if they all have the same packaging. Now I have the shade Quest and the reason why mine looks a little bit suspicious, this is nothing to be alarmed of. This is just the wax from the lipstick blooming a little bit. It doesn't mean the lipstick has gone off because this is still a very new lipstick and it still smells and performs just fine. I do know that a few of my friends that have the Lethal Bullet lipsticks, some of theirs do this as well. Most of the time it's with the shade Quest, which is the shade that I have. So I think it's just a problem with this color and some of the deeper shades as well, but it's nothing to be alarmed at. They are a more satin formula, very creamy on the lips, very hydrating too. And I love the shade Quest. Oh my God, this is such a unique butternut squash type color and it's so damn cool. And since this is more of a satin creamy formula, it doesn't last too, too long on the lips. It lasts a decent amount of time with eating and drinking, but it does wear off pretty quickly if you're drinking like a cup of tea or something. So longevity isn't the best, but I find that most bullet lipsticks that aren't matte don't have the best longevity. I think that's just the nature of them. But the formula is very luxurious feeling on the lips. I love the colors that they offer as well. Now, I find that if I apply this and then blot it a little bit with a tissue to make it a bit more matte, it does last a lot longer. And I definitely want to buy more shades of these because this is, oh, this formula, so good. Now, what would I rate the bullet lipsticks out of 10? I would give them, now the wax blooming, it's not a deal breaker for me, but I know for a lot of people, this is very unattractive, but these do not feather on my lips. I personally don't use a lip liner and I find that you don't need to with these. And I really like these. They don't have a taste or a fragrance to them. Solid lipsticks. I would definitely give their bullet lipstick formula a nine out of 10. I don't know if I rated the liquid lipstick formula either, but I would give these a nine out of 10 as well. Again, the reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because the taste and the like smell is quite unappealing and the applicator isn't my favorite. And the final product I have to review from Lethal are their lip glosses. And this is what mine looks like. I have the shade Sub-Zero. Now out of everything that I've tried from Lethal, their lip glosses are not really my favorite. The applicator is this very, very small flat doe foot. And again, I don't like small doe foot applicators. I prefer a bigger applicator. Now you will see better swatches in the close-ups, but I'm just applying this to my hand just to feel the formula. The formula is incredibly thin. It's basically like a lip oil. Now, if you enjoy lip oils, then I think you'd really like this gloss formula. I'm not a big fan of lip oils. I like something with a bit more thickness to it. My favorite lip glosses are the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs and the Odin's Eye Cream Lip Stains. Those are my favorite gloss formulas, along with the Kaleidos Lucid lip glosses. Those ones are thinner, but not as thin as this. This is like a proper like lip oil texture. I don't know. It just feels like it runs on my lips. It's harder to control and it doesn't really stay put. And of course, the thinner the lip gloss formula, the less likely it is to last on your lips. And this formula does not last on my lips that long at all. Even though I really enjoy this color, I like using it as a lip topper for certain looks, especially if I'm wearing like a black lipstick like today. If I top it in the center, it looks quite pretty. Actually, I'm gonna do that now that I mentioned it. So I'm just gonna put it right in the center. And it is pretty, it gives a nice purple blue sheen. If I had to rate it out of 10, uh, I don't know, man. I think I'd give it like a, like a four out of 10. It's just not my preference. If you like really thin glosses, then you might really enjoy this. But again, it's just a personal preference thing. The formula is all right considering, but it's just not for me. But anyways, with all of that said and done, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this was helpful to you if you were shopping the Lethal site and you weren't too sure what to buy. Also, if you have any Lethal favorites, leave them in the comments down below. And also, if you have tried the bronzes, highlighters, and liquid shadows from Lethal, leave your reviews down below so we can help each other because, like I've mentioned, I have not tried those before. If you'd like to see more makeup content from me, then follow me on my Instagram. It's Beauty by Sky right here. I post all of my looks there and I'm active on that every single day. I also forgot to mention in the intro, but this is a full face of Lethal. If you're curious about any of the products that I used, they're listed in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.